leader of the Good Party, the Public Works Minister Patricia DeLille, has denied claims that her party is taking advantage of the cause for the city of Cape Town to provide affordable social housing. The claims emerge ahead of the local elections. Political parties are working to woo voters. Our reporter Artyom Tangana has more. Artie, good afternoon to you. It really seems there's no love lost between Patricia DeLille and the Democratic Alliance. A very good afternoon to you, Stephen. In fact, I chuckled when you mentioned how whether the two, uh, Patricia DeLille and Jordan Hill Lewis, who uh, once were upon a time under the same umbrella of the DA, miss each other or not, because uh, this past uh, couple of weeks has one that we've seen where Patricia DeLille, together with uh, Jordan Hill Lewis of the Democratic Alliance, have been at loggerheads over one very contentious issue around social, affordable or low-cost housing in the inner city. Well, Patricia DeLille actually says that the person who started all of this is Jordan Hill Lewis. He says this is part of his uh, political campaign, of course. As you may know, he is the DA's mayoral candidate in the city of Cape Town. He will be leaving Parliament soon as a member of Parliament. In fact, he has come out to actually call on Patricia DeLille as the Minister of uh, Infrastructure and Public Works to release Acacia Park. Acacia Park is accommodation for members of Parliament. She's been coming out to say that the demands that uh, Lewis has been making are simply outrageous. For one, he doesn't have to stay at Acacia Park because he has residents here in Cape Town, unlike other MPs who travel from different parts of the country and whenever they have to come to Cape Town uh, to Parliament, they have to be accommodated at Acacia Park. So she's been calling those demands by Jordan Hill Lewis to release that particular piece of land for affordable social housing as outrageous claims. So today what she did, the leader of the Good Party, went around the city of Cape Town with members of the media, including members of the Good Party, to showcase where uh, or which parcels of land is owned or are owned actually by the city of Cape Town and the provincial government, which is obviously under the Democratic Alliance. She has proof, according to her, from a flash drive that she has in her hand, which she is willing to actually give out to members of the media and anyone in the public that wants to know how many pockets of land is owned by the Democratic Alliance that haven't been used for social housing as per the calls by uh, Jordan Hill Lewis. I want us then to listen in exactly on what Patricia DeLille had to say. But it was started by the lies of the blue liars to say that they cannot build houses because they are waiting on land from national government, which is a lie, because they've got their own land. And I decided that I'm going to expose that lie to show the media and the country all the land that's available in the city uh, of Cape Town. And also, I've got a flash drive with the whole immovable asset register of the land that belong to the province, the Western Cape province. Because I've got access to all provincial asset registers. And when you just at a glance, you look at on that asset register, there are more than 450 pieces of land that is just lying vacant. So, Ati, she's got it on a flash drive. She can't just put it on, a, on, a, on, 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 on you know, Dropbox and send it to all of us or send it to us on WhatsApp or something. I mean, this, this kind of little spat, which has been created really by the DA, is likely to go on for another couple of weeks at this rate. Well, it might go on for the next couple of weeks because Jordan Hill Lewis was on record on Newsroom Africa uh, on several occasions saying that the promises that he's then making with the parcels of land that is owned by uh, the city of Cape Town and of course together with the provincial government under the Democratic Alliance, they will try and he says when he gets into office he will try to actually go out find those vacant pieces of land and try to use them and develop them for social housing. So it's not going to be over. If he does get to become the mayor of Cape Town, I assure you, uh, Stephen, that we will follow up on uh, him and find out whether he has actually developed these pockets of land which are owned by the city for affordable and low-cost 
housing in the inner city together with Patricia DeLille because they also own some pockets of land in the city which uh, she says they are working on to try and develop for inner city social housing. She's actually come on record to say together with Brett Heron, who's also a former MAKER member for uh, the city of Cape Town, he also resigned uh, from the DA and he's part of the good party now. They've come on record to say that what they're doing is continuing with the projects that led to their resignation those projects involving uh, developing some of the uh, areas and the pockets of land in the city trying to ensure that they include those who have been excluded in the city living in the far-flung areas of the city of Cape Town making it difficult to access Cape Town via transport uh, due to the fact that they live very very far and they know how uh, unaffordable it is to actually live in Cape Town's CBD. All right, Tim's in Ghana. Thanks very much indeed. To think once upon a time, Patricia DeLille and Jordan Hill Lewis used to hold hands together, and now it's just boxing gloves. Artyom Tingana, thanks very much indeed.